An Introduction to Fermentation Processes Definition of Fermentation The term fermentation is derived from the Latin verb fervory, which means to boil, and describes the way yeast reacts to fruit or malted grain extracts. Fermentation has come to have different meanings to biochemists and to industrial microbiologists. In biochemistry, fermentation is the process of energy production in a cell under anaerobic conditions. Anaerobic conditions is the condition without oxygen. Ethanol fermentation. Ethanol fermentation is a type of anaerobic respiration that yeasts use primarily when there is insufficient oxygen for normal cellular respiration. Industrial fermentation, which frequently occurs under aerobic growth circumstances, is the dissection and reassembly of biochemicals for industry. Fermentation and industrial microbiology The earliest industrial procedure for the creation of a microbial metabolite was the generation of alcohol by the action of yeast on malt or food extract, which has been done on a wide scale for a very long time. Thus, industrial microbiologists have extended the term fermentation to describe any process for the production of product by the mass culture of it, organism, microorganism. Industrial fermentation. Fermentation has many important uses in industry. Though the term fermentation can have more restrictive definitions when used in the context of industrial fermentation, it often refers to the breakdown of organic materials and their subsequent reassembly into other materials. Somewhat paradoxically, fermentation in the context of biochemistry is completely anaerobic, although fermenter culture in industrial capacity frequently refers to highly oxygenated and aerobic growth conditions. A very old method in industrial fermentation is ABE fermentation. The range of fermentation processes. There are five major groups of commercially important fermentations. Number one, those that produce microbial cells as the product. Number two, those that produce microbial enzymes. Number three, those that produce microbial metabolites. Number four, those that produce recombinant products. And number five, those that modify a compound which is added to the fermentation. The transformation process. Come to number one, which was microbial cells or microbial biomass. The commercial production of microbial biomass may be divided into two major processes. Number one, the production of yeast to be used in baking industry and the production of microbial cells to be used as human or animal food. So, number two, microbial enzymes. Enzymes have been produced commercially from plant, animal and microbial sources. Microbial enzymes have the enormous advantage of being able to be produced in large quantities by established fermentation techniques. The advent of recombinant DNA technology has enabled enzymes of animal origin to be synthesized by microbes. Example is renin. Renin is an enzyme also known as chymosine that is produced by certain microorganisms including certain strains of bacteria. Then comes microbial metabolites. There's two types primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Fermentation is used to produce many key metabolic products, many of which are of significant economic importance. And numerous secondary metabolites have antimicrobial activity, others are specific enzyme inhibitors, others are promoters and many have pharmacological properties. So here's a table that shows some primary products of microbial metabolism and their commercial significance. Pause the video if you want to note it down. Another commercially important fermentation is the production of recombinant products. The variety of potential fermentation products has increased with the development of recombinant DNA technology. Genes from higher organisms may be introduced into microbial cells such as the recipients are capable of synthesizing foreign proteins. A wide range of microbial cells, such as E. coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and Filamentous fungi, these microbial cells have been used as hosts for such systems. And lastly comes transformation processes. Microbial cells may be used to convert 
a compound into a structurally related, financially more valuable compound. Uh, example like steroid bioformin, steroid biotransformation. So what happens here is um, microbial cells are used to convert a compound into a structurally similar but more valuable molecule. For instance, a significant amount of biomass must be generated throughout the transformation fermentation process in order to catalyze a single reaction. Here's an overview of a typical industrial fermentation process. Here's come the supplies and it goes through upstream processes and uh, then fermentation and then downstream processes and it goes to the customer. So I'll be discussing in details of these upstream processes and downstream processes and many more on my next video. If you like my video, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe. Till then, goodbye.